Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the Good Housekeeping Cookery Book of 1925. Oh, wait, that's not right. That's the cover for my cookbook, Sandwiches of History, the Cookbook, available for pre-order on Amazon.com right now. Let's get the right one out there. There it is. Today, from that book, we're going to be making the tuna sandwich. We start this exciting and dynamic filling off by adding a few drops of Worcestershire sauce to tuna. Then enough mayonnaise to make it spreadable. No, there are no amounts given for the mayonnaise. Now we put that on the thin slices of buttered bread. White bread specifically. Okay, let's give this tuna sandwich a go. It's adorable. <laughs> the Worcestershire sauce is bringing a nice tang to the sandwich and is the most interesting flavor in this concoction. I, I do want to plus it up a little. <laughs> First, I'm going to add some smoked Kalamata olives. Then a little bit of arugula. <laughs> Bet you were expecting capers, weren't you? All right. Let's give this tuna sandwich plussed up with smoked Kalamata olives and arugula a go. You got the peppery bite of the arugula, the bright punch of Kalamata olives, but you also have that smoky flavor. You know, it's just serving to, to up-level this tuna salad sandwich, which was basically tuna, mayonnaise, and Worcestershire. This is good. Honestly, could have plussed that up with capers, lemon juice, um, you know, lemon pepper. A lot of different ways we could have gone with that, but the original tuna sandwich was not bad, it was not great. Middle of the road, five. Plus up with the smoked Kalamata olives and the arugula. I'm gonna put that up to about a seven and a half. That is delicious and I would make the plus up version again any day, absolutely. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.